What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another GeForce Now News Thursday. We've got 22 games being added to the service this week. Five of those are day and dates and we've got three pieces of DLC being added as well. And we have a small list of games that was announced in the beginning of the month that didn't quite make it from that roadmap and we'll take a look at that as well. Before we move on though, if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe, thumbs up, ring the bell, leave your comment, all that kind of stuff goes a long way to help the channel and I really appreciate it. So let's move on to the DLC first. We've got Hunt Showdown The Committed, Isle of Sipta for Conan Exiles, and Iron Harvest Operation Eagle. And remember, on GeForce Now, whether it be your game or DLC for the games, you never have to worry about those downloads. They should be ready to go. So moving on to the 22 games we've got for this week, and one of them I have been playing a ton, and that's Biomutant. Day and date release on Steam and the Epic Game Store, and I've absolutely been loving my time with this game, and it plays great on GeForce Now. As a matter of fact, the NVIDIA Shield TV Pro and the Safari app on my iPad have been the two ways that I've enjoyed this game the most. So Biomutant, a great grab for GeForce Now. Moving on, we got King of Seas day and date release on Steam, Man Eater day and date release on Steam as well. Well, this was an Epic Games Store uh, exclusive. Imagine Earth Day and Date release on Steam May 26, and Warhammer Age of Sigmar Stormground Day and Date release on Steam May 27. Uh, those are our five day and dates right there. And moving on from there, we've got Bad North, Black Desert Online, Breath Edge, Bullet Girls Fantasia, Cyberhook, Death Smiles, and Listed on its native launcher, Kill It With Fire, Last Epic. The Legend of Heroes, Trails of Cold Steel 3, Monopoly Plus, Necromunda, Red Out Enhanced Edition, Saviors of Sapphire Wings, Shadowrun Dragonfall Director's Cut, Trains Railroad Simulator 2019, and Valiant Hearts The Great War. And we have a mix this week of Ubisoft Connect, Epic Game Store, and Steam Games, and along with that native launcher, and that's something I definitely love to see on the service. So I think it's a pretty good grab. That's a decent list of games, but for me, honestly, just Biomutant has been the dominating game uh, out of this list and the one I've just been playing the most since I've had access. So a uh, really great grab for GeForce now, but it's a strong week for them as well, and uh, really looking forward to what's to come in the future with GeForce Now. So let's move over to the games that didn't quite make it that we thought were coming in May. So we've got Beyond Good and Evil from Steam. This is a much older game, but let me know if it's something that you were looking forward to. The new game is going to be released soon. Child of Light from Ubisoft Connect, Hearts of Iron 3 Steam, King's Bounty Dark Side Steam, Sabotage Steam, Super Mecha Champions from Steam, Thea the Awakening Steam, and Tomb Raider Legend from Steam as well. So I don't think this is a big loss, this list of games for me personally, but definitely let me know if these were ones in the roadmap that were announced that you might have been interested in playing. Head up those comments down below. So. That's pretty much it for this week. We've got our 22 games. We've got our three chunks of DLC with no worries of downloads there. You should be good to go. And a small list of games that just didn't quite make it for the May roadmap. And we'll keep an eye out on those kinds of things. Normally, they really over-deliver. This is the first time all year that we've had a list of games that didn't make it. So uh, we'll keep an eye on that in the future and see how we do. But I think that'll wrap it up for the news this week. GeForce Now News Thursday. A pretty strong week for GeForce Now and definitely happy playing Biomutant on the service. All right, guys, thanks a lot for coming to watch. I really appreciate it. Again, subscribe, thumbs up, ring the bell, leave me your comment. All of that helps out. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.